Hi everybody, this is Tom Pingle here. I'm just going to give a quick demonstration on how to reference uh, archaeological images. Um, so there's nothing particularly special about archaeological images. Um, they georeference in the same way as anything else. Um, there's a couple of handy tricks um, that may be particularly useful here. Um, so these are a few sites uh, that are located in a um, UTM coordinate system. Just got a base layer here. Uh, what we want to try to do is georeference some archaeological sketches um, like this one. Um, all of which at the moment uh, have been scanned in from field notes uh, and stored as PDFs. So I'm going to open these uh, in. Uh, so we, what we want to do, you can see that the page has actually been scanned in in kind of the wrong orientation. So um, we could fix that in um, in ARC, um, but just as easy to do it quickly here because uh, we've got to do an export anyway. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to rotate. You can use any uh, PDF editor um, to do this, but we're going to rotate um, the page. Uh, so rotate clockwise 90 degrees. So that gets us in the correct orientation. Uh, I'm going to uh, save this as, uh, you can save it as pretty much anything that's going to um, come into uh, ARC just fine. Uh, I like PNGs for this kind of thing, so we're going to store this as a PNG file. Um, so that writes out pretty easily. <clears throat> we don't care too much about the um, uh, uh, resolution of this. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Um, so we'll let that go. We probably should have saved the correct orientation before we quit, but it doesn't matter. Um, so here's the uh, a couple of sites. So we've got a, a site here uh, and a site there. Um, what we want to do is uh, bring this into ARC. Um, so I'm just going to drag and drop this straight in. So we'll do number nine here first. Um, it's You can create the pyramids. It's probably not um, strictly necessary, but if you want to take a, a second to do that, you can. Um, we'll just do that quickly. Uh, so uh, these don't have any coordinates uh, associated with them. It's just a raw image, um, so we need to provide those. Um, so we're going to do that with the uh, georeferencing toolbox. So I have that open, but you can right-click anywhere up here uh, and turn it on uh, in the context menu there. Uh, so here's the image. It's nowhere on the map. We need to uh, we need georeference it. So what I like to do is open these uh, things up uh, in the viewer. Uh, now, if you open it up, uh, we've got a, a site here, we've got a description, uh, we've got a location in UTM coordinates. Uh, obviously, you'll want to make sure that your um, coordinate system that you're georeferencing into is the same, uh, which I've done. So this is UTM zone 15. Um, and we're going to reference uh, these points. Uh, now, if you have a point uh, that you can reference, maybe you've taken two GPS points somewhere in here uh, and marked the locations, that would work. Uh, in this case, we just have one UTM location. Um, we don't really know exactly where this um, corresponds to, uh, and we have a scale down here saying this is zero and this is 10 meters. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use that information um, to georeference the image. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a point, uh, and I'm actually going to add the point uh, here. Uh, so I'm going to hover over this, uh, left click, uh, and then you'll see that I can, what I would ordinarily do is match this to a feature. I don't have a feature to match that to. Uh, what I do have um, is uh, an exact coordinate. So I'm just going to type in uh, 684, 791, uh, and for the Y coordinate, 1899690. Um, hit OK. Uh, the viewer goes blank. What it's done is it's actually snapped that point uh, into the main image here. So I can hit the um, world icon there to kind of bring it back into view. Uh, there's my uh, georeferencing point right here. What I'm going to do uh, is put my second point here. Uh, so again, I'm left clicking, uh, right clicking uh, after I've left clicked to bring up this input x, y. So to get this scale right, what I'm going to do is basically add 10 meters uh, to this number. So 684, uh, 801, uh, so 10 plus the, the previous value. So it's going to shift it uh, 10 meters east. And I'm going to use the same northing value, so 1899690. We hit OK. Uh, we can again use that world icon to zoom in, and you can see that both of these points here have kind of mapped um, about where we want them. Uh, you can close the viewer at that point, uh, and you can zoom in. Now, if you've got a base layer here, that's going to redraw uh, and maybe be a little bit annoying. So uh, I'm going to turn that off as I'm kind of just georeferencing, uh, and we'll zoom uh, to this particular layer. Um, these features, so there's a, a point right here if I um, take this out, so my my uh, shapefile point that I had from a, a different layer matches up pretty nicely there. Uh, the scale um, should be pretty accurate here, uh, so that should be 10 meters. 
Um, what I might want to do is say, well, that's not really where this, this point was. Uh, it's somewhere over here. So what you can do is um, we're going to uh, update the georeferencing. So that's going to write out the world file information. Uh, so over here, now we've got some extra files, um, uh, pyramid files and some extra metadata uh, and georeferencing information uh, that have been written to accompany this PNG file. Um, what we can do now that we've updated that uh, is we can go over to this icon. There are a number of different things we can use to kind of manually make adjustments. Um, so we could rotate it. If we didn't quite line this up perfectly, we could do that. Uh, we could scale it. Uh, but what we want to do is just shift it. Uh, so we're going to move our layer around. And you can see that my main point here is now kind of more towards the middle. But it's maintaining the scale. So you can kind of use that. Uh, you know, this point corresponded to these coordinates. So I can kind of use that if I know where I, I, I took that point, I can use that. If I want to just kind of put it in the middle of the cluster and call that uh, close enough, I can do that too. Uh, once you make that adjustment, you're going to need to update that georeferencing again. Uh, and you can go back and you can see that uh, right here. So uh, that's a pretty quick um, uh, method of how to, to, do those, uh, to do those updates. We'll do one more uh, to kind of just uh, demonstrate the concept here. So this is just a, a second shot at this. Um, so again, we're going to uh, take our image, drag it in. It's going to tell you uh, that it doesn't have any pyramids, so we're going to do that. Uh, I like to use bilinear. Uh, you can use whatever you want there. We don't have any georeferencing information, which we know. Uh, we are going to choose that new one uh, and uh, open the viewer. Um, we can uh, start referencing this. So we're going to add a control point to this. Uh, in this case, our coordinate is given here. Uh, our scale is down here. So that's what we're going to use as our, uh, as our point. So we're going to georeference to the scale. So this is going to be our first point, 683-900-1899-924. Uh, we hit OK. Uh, it's already sort of aligned that image where we want it to go, uh, but now we need to scale it properly. So again, left click here, uh, right click, input x, y. We're going to add, in this case, 8 meters uh, to our easting, uh, so 683908, uh, uh, and then the same north thing as before, 1899924. Uh, so hit OK. Uh, there it is. It looks like we've kind of picked our points nicely there. We can close the viewer out. Um, we can write uh, our georeferencing information. You'll notice that the, uh, the, the manual updating isn't um, available until we update. Now the shift is available, so we can kind of um, zoom to that layer. Uh, you can see that our initial point is here, uh, so that maps to this point. Uh, and what we're just going to do is we're going to slide. Uh, we're going to slide this around until that point is kind of either somewhere we remember or somewhere near the, uh, the center of the, the site, if you're not sure. Update that uh, georeferencing one more time, and that's it. So there's your quick introduction on how to do a, uh, um, a digitization from archaeological notes. Thanks for listening. Bye.